Tonight's lesson is lesson 11.3, Measure and Draw Angles. Our essential question is, how can you use a protractor to measure and draw angles? Please write this essential question down at the top of your notes. This tool is called a protractor. A protractor is a tool for measuring the size of an angle. If you see, our dancer here is making an angle with her arms, just like we do in class. To measure this angle, we would use a protractor. What, how we would use the protractor is we would align the center point and the vertex. So our circle here is where our vertex would go for our angle. And remember, the vertex of an angle is where the two rays meet at a point, and that's the vertex of the angle. So how I would use this protractor to measure the angle is I would align my ray, one of my rays, with the zero line, and that's what this is right here, the zero line. And then I would start counting up to measure the angle. Now I can see that this angle is greater than 90 degrees because here's the 90 degree mark. So I would just start counting up 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, there's my right angle, 100, 110, 120. So I can say that the measure, and this M stands for measure, of angle DCE would be 120 degrees. So I'm going to put my 120 degrees here, and that's how I would read it. It would be 120 degrees, and I can say that that's a reasonable measure for my angle because it's greater than 90 degrees. So the measure of angle DCE equals 120 degrees. Now here we have an error alert. Let's read the error alert. It says, please be sure to use the correct scale on the protractor. Ask yourself, is the measure reasonable? So what they're saying is that you need to be careful with which numbers on the protractor that you're looking at. So to measure angle ABC, First, I would put my protractor on the vertex, on the point. Then I would align my ray with B, angle BC with zero. So first, I'm going to place the center of my protractor on point B, and that's the vertex. Then I would align my ray BC with zero, with the zero point, and then I would read where ray AB intersects with the same scale. So I would read where this ray AB intersects. So I'm going to put ray AB intersects the same scale. So if I look, and I'm going to start with my zero here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then it's between 60 and 70, so that would be about 65 degrees. So the measure of angle ABC is 65 degrees. And I want to make sure and tell my, and ask myself, is this reasonable? Yes, it is, because this is an acute angle, and an acute angle is less than 90 degrees and I have 65 degrees, so it's reasonable. I would have to be careful. If I looked at this bottom scale, it says that it would be 125 or 115 degrees, and that's not reasonable because it's not an obtuse angle. It's an acute angle, so I had to make sure I looked at the right scale. Let's go through the steps and measure this angle. My first step would be to align my circle on my protractor with point B, with the vertex, where the two rays meet. And so I did that. My step two would be to align my ray BC with the zero mark. My next step is to look and see, what kind of angle is this? 
estimate. I think this is an acute angle. It's definitely smaller than a right angle, so it's an acute angle. So now I'm going to start counting up from my zero mark. 10, 20, 30. So I can say that the measure of angle, so the measure of angle A, B, C, now remember your vertex always goes in the middle, the measure of angle, angle A, B, C is 30 degrees. And that is reasonable because it's an acute angle. Let's practice some more. Now I want you to think, what is the measurement of this angle? So if you were using this protractor to measure this angle, what would the angle measure? Go ahead and figure this problem out and write the answer in your notes. Okay, let's see if you were right. So first, we lined up our vertex with the point with the circle on the protractor we aligned our ray with zero and now I can see that this is an acute angle because it's smaller than 90 degrees so I'm gonna count up from zero so I have 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 and I'm between 70 and 80 so it would be 75 degrees so the measure of the angle would be 75 degrees. I hope you were right. Here's another practice problem for you. I want you to see if you can figure out the measurement of this angle using the protractor. So if you were using a protractor, what would the angle of this measure be? Go ahead and try and draw the angle as best that you can in your notes and then tell me what the degrees are for the angle. Okay, you should have gotten that the angle of, or the measure of this angle was 140 degrees, and it's an obtuse angle. Now, if you were measuring this angle, you would have to align your point or your vertex with the circle here on your protractor, and you would have to line up with your zero over here one of your rays, and then you would say, okay, is this a an acute or obtuse angle? And we can see that it is greater than 90 degrees. It's greater than a right angle, so it's obtuse. So then we would count up from zero. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, and then 140. That's what we would say. So, and then we would have to think, is it reasonable? Yes, it is, because it's an obtuse angle. So you should have gotten 140 degrees. Here's another practice problem for you. I want you to tell me what the measurement of this angle is. So draw the angle the best that you can in your notes, and then tell me what the measurement of the angle would be. Go ahead and press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, let's look and see what you came up with. Your answer for this question should have been the measurement of this angle was 15 degrees. And I can tell that this was reasonable because it's an acute angle. So it's definitely smaller than 90 degrees. I would have started counting at my zero mark and I would have been at 10 and then this is 15 here. And so my measurement for this angle was 15 degrees. Okay, here are your homework questions for tonight. Number one is asking, the protractor is a tool that measures A, length, B, time, C, angles, or D, weight. Number two, I want you to measure this angle using the protractor here and tell me what the measurement of this angle is. Number three, I'd like you to look at this angle on the protractor and tell me what the measurement for this angle is. Now be careful, make sure that you're starting at your zero mark and that you're asking yourself, is this a reasonable measurement for this angle? Then I want you to assess yourself. Tell if you're a novice, apprentice, practitioner, or an expert and make sure you write this down at the bottom of your notes. 
I hope that you do well on your homework, and we will get to practice with protractors tomorrow. See you later. Bye.